So one way to think about the difference between visual snow and visual snow syndrome is that visual snow really is describing the visual experience that somebody with visual snow syndrome has. It's the main component for the visual snow syndrome, so to speak. So visual snow, as the patients have described to me and as we now have in written form for criteria, thanks to people like Dr. Goadsby, is a, a series of seeing multiple dots throughout your visual field that um, doesn't interfere with your ability to see what you're looking at, so to speak. It really overlies everything that you're looking at. So you can still tell that an apple is an apple, but in front of the apple and throughout your whole visual field are tiny little dots. They often move around. Some people describe them as having color. Other people describe them as having no color, so they can be black and white. And because they remind people of TV static or snow that's coming down through the sky in a, in a, in a wintry day. Uh, they've been termed uh, various things over the years, but that includes visual snow or TV static. And so when we think about visual snow and we think about the differences between those two terms, visual snow versus visual snow syndrome, is visual snow is really the visual experience that somebody is having, whereas visual snow syndrome is you're having that visual snow experience along with at least two other symptoms or two other visual experiences. One is palinopsia, another is uh, photophobia, which is uh, being uh, sensitive to light. Palinopsia is when you see the image that you just looked at, you see it again, or you see multiple images as you look away from the image you were looking at. And another experience is seeing entoptic phenomena, which is seeing all the things that can happen inside of our eye, like a floater, and you're seeing that frequently. And then lastly, um, poor night vision. So if you have two of those other four, along with visual snow, we refer to that as visual snow syndrome oftentimes.